is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema, uh, here to review Madigan, a uh, 1968 Don Siegel film that uh, is coming to Blu-ray courtesy of Kino Lorber on November 12th. This is actually uh, one of two Don Siegel, I guess I would say, uh, B-side filmography that are coming uh, back to Blu-ray this month. Um, Don Siegel, who some might argue uh, about the merits of uh, affording him a tour status, uh, but is as um, responsible for creating the persona of Clint Eastwood as Sergio Leone was, thanks to the series of films uh, Siegel made with Eastwood throughout the 1970s. Before this, th I'd say that Madigan is kind of a transitional film for Siegel. Uh, he was coming off of those B films he made in the 50s, most notably Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Uh, in, in the 60s, saw him make films that felt very much like products of the 60s, like his remake of The Killers in 64. Um, this film uh, utilizes a familiar uh, formula where Widmark and his partner, played by Harry Guardino, who would also show up in Dirty Harry, uh, is a pair of uh, cops that don't play by the rules, and they get themselves embroiled in a case that's not theirs. They stumble upon this uh, killer, and their uh, boss, the commissioner, played by Henry Fonda, who is actually quite well cast, uh, orders these uh, cops to mine Spanish Harlem and find uh, this serial killer, and that's about it. Uh, as good as Henry Fonda is in this, I think Richard Widmark seems a bit gone to seed, but this is the kind of formula that Siegel would soon be uh, recycling again uh, for his films with uh, Clint Eastwood. In fact, this is 68, so this is the same year as Coogan's Bluff, his first uh, film with Eastwood. Uh, Widmark would reprise this character in an early 1970s short-lived television series as well. Supporting cast, you have James Whitmore as the chief inspector and Inger Stevens as his unhappy wife uh, who would kill herself uh, several years, only I think three or four years after this film. Uh, it's based on a book called The Commissioner by Richard Daughtry, which suggests that Henry Fonda's character was really kind of the focus. Um, the soundtrack is feels very late 60s, like they're trying to make it seem like a cool swinging 60s film. Uh, but the racial tensions that it navigates are feel very archaic even for this film. If you check out Gordon Douglas's uh, the, the Detective, which was the same year with Frank Sinatra, or even a few years later, which, uh, Report to the Commissioner by Milton Caselis, uh, those films uh, have much more uh, interesting things to say about uh, white cops and the uh, minorities in the communities they deal with. So I would give uh, Madigan uh, two out of five stars, the Kino's uh, Blu-ray release three out of five. Thank you. Hey, this is Eric from MyOwnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.